okay so the next problem is a cantilever of 10 meter span carries load of 4 kilonewtons and 6 kilonewtons at 2 meter and 6 meter respectively from the fixed end along with another load of 6 kilonewtons at the free end rather shear force and bending moment diagrams so so given problems ki manam first to, uh, load diagram ni draw jaddam okay so for that so this is cantilever beam okay total over a span of 10 meters okay so this is 10 meters and this is point a and point b okay so a cantilever of 10 meter span carries a load of 4 kilonewtons and 6 kilonewtons at 2 meter and 6 meters respectively from fixed end okay fixed end nunchi from fixed end and a point nunchi 4 kilonewtons acting at 2 meters distance and ikka nunchi like the here the load acting 4 kilonewtons so this distance is 2 meters okay also 6 kilonewtons acting at 6 meter distance from fixed end so fixed end nunchi 6 kilonewtons this 6 kilonewtons acting at 6 meter distance from fixed end okay 6 kilonewtons set out the and 6 kilonewtons <coughs> at a free end and you could go to monkey in coca 6 kilonewtons act out on okay so this is a load diagram so for this we have to find out the shear force and bending moment okay then then after we draw the shear force and bending moment diagrams okay so for solution shear force so shear force at uh, so that is sf at b okay so this point b and this is point c and this is point d okay so shear force at b is downward force so it is positive sign and the load act out on the kada or point the kada 6 kilonewtons plus 6 kilonewtons okay next shear force at uh, c point okay point c so you can go to load downward act out on the plus sign that is plus 6 plus 6 okay so it is 12 kilonewtons okay plus 6 e, e load this quality e point other load this quality okay next shear force at d that is same load and the downward act of the body and the positive that is plus 6 plus 6 so this is plus 6 at b plus 6 at c and plus 6 at plus 4 at d okay so it is 16 kilonewtons and shear force at a same thing plus 6 plus 6 plus 4 it is also 16 kilo newtons and I can go to my mother totally downward act of the body so when I could have positive sign is gonna that is shear force at a next bending moment so that is bending moment at B always zero at free end okay so next bending moment at C okay so loads any downward act out in so it is a hanging po hogging position so it, it is negative sign okay so bending moment at C and time on you can this one to know just so you can bending moment at C this call what he so you can money can the load act of the six kilonewtons with a distance of so two plus six four so is the more than the four four meters okay 
so that is minus 6 into 4 it is okay so minus 24 kilo newton meter next bending moment at d that is negative ikkada ikkada is koali so minus 6 into so distance the from b to d okay b to d it is 8 meters okay e minus 2, two meters this is in so b to d m out the monkey 8 meters also so 6 into 8 so next point c the graph minus sign 6 into so c no the 4 meters and it is d point the graph okay 4 meters 2 meters and minus j and 6 6 meters minus j say e distance and the monkey 4 meters 6 into 4 okay so we simplify as monkey minus 72 kilo newton meters like a bending moment at a bending moment at a it is so you could this call mana so a in inch at a 6 into downward act out on the so it is minus sign and and that is load act of the b point the 6 kilo newtons into with the distance of b to a 10 meters okay next minus c point the is going to minus of 6 into 6 meters distance c to a any and the distance in the 6 meters okay next minus 4 kilo newtons into and the distance d to a 2 meters okay 2 meters so is the total overall gamma minus 104 kilo newton meter okay so these are the bending moment and shear force values at all points okay so now we have to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram for that first we have to draw the load diagram okay so this is our load diagram and two vertical lines and how many points we have so at point so this point also we have to draw and this point also we have to draw so this is a b c and d okay so for shear force we have rather one horizontal line a b c d so load diagram mundu purdiya rajesh andi 6 kilo newtons 6 kilo newtons it is 4 kilo newtons okay so over the span is 10 meters okay so first shear force at b is 4 joint sorry 6 6 kilo newtons and shear force at c it is 12 kilo newtons like 12 kilo newtons and shear force at c d is 16 kilo newtons like shear force at c 16 kilo newtons points and look at this as going what me constant line la roger and the critical man can the point loads act out on yes or no these are the point loads so constant lines of say could they need to route like them in need to draw jandy okay so these are the constant lines okay linear lines horizontal linear lines okay so this is positive 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 okay pass to shear force diagram also the next bending moment so point a b c d okay bending moment at b is zero bending moment at c is minus 24 minus 24 and bending moment at a sorry d it is 72 okay it is 104 okay so b to c straight incline line 
and C to D also inclined line, D to D also inclined line, negative, negative, negative. So this is the bending moment diagram for this problem. Okay, understood. So next class we discuss about a cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load as well as cantilever beam with uniformly distributed load and point loads. So what you call bending moment diagram say with the So cantilever beam key if in case the load is acting point loads, okay, point loads act in a pudu, the bending moment diagram it is a inclined line. Okay, and Roger Al Sindhi inclined line Roger Ali. Okay, so there is no parabola, only inclined line. And a okay, triangular shape manaki was done. Okay, so this is for cantilever beam with point loads. Thank you.